Hi there, my name's Bruce Rain from Brackus Creations, and in this video, we're going to attempt to repair this. This is a 128K Macintosh, the original Macintosh. Now, I've never repaired a Macintosh 128K before. I've done 512K and I've done the Mac Plus, and they have a lot of similarities about them, but this is the first 128K that I've ever worked on. Now, if I switch this on, it bongs. But the screen has a little sad Mac face, and it's got vertical lines, and uh, it's got some sort of uh, numeric code underneath, which I can't read because of the vertical lines. And I suspect that is almost definitely due to a problem with a RAM chip. So I'm going to open it up, have a look, and see if we can figure this one out. Okay, so I've been able to decipher the code that the computer was showing, and it was 020404. Now, when I look that up, I can see that that's telling me that there is a problem with two of the RAM chips, the one located at F7 and the one located at G7. Uh, now, before I run in and start replacing chips, I noticed under the microscope that there is quite a bit of corrosion and rust on this board. So I figured that the first thing I should do is give it a really good clean, and then I can run another test. Okay, well the board has been cleaned, uh, so now I'm going to connect some power up to it, and see if that made any difference. At this stage, I'm expecting it'll be the same, but you never know. Got our bip. Yep, we've got the same issue here and same code. So uh, the next thing I have to do is take those two faulty RAM chips off the board and replace them with new ones. Okay, so I have removed the two offending RAM chips. Um, it's not a particularly enjoyable job. Um, I don't like using hot air on these old boards, uh, the boards don't seem to like it, and also because the solder is quite old, uh, it can sort of, you know, bubble up and you get little solder balls all over the place. And I also don't like exposing a lot of these old chips to hot air, so um, I get them off by using a bit of solder wick um, and just uh, absorb up as much of the solder as I can and then just sort of uh, slowly um, you know, sort of work them out. Sometimes I need to uh, add some new solder uh, because the old solder gets kind of old and crunchy. So I put new, some new solder on and then soak it up with some solder wick. Uh, I didn't film that process because it's very, very tedious and I swear a lot while I'm doing it. So, um, uh, but they have come off, um, uh, no damage to the board, uh, all ready for uh, some new RAM chips to go on. So there we have two nice new Texas Instruments RAM chips uh, that I've soldered onto the board to replace the old dead ones. And the next step will be, I will put this back together and we'll see what happens. Okay, well here's the Macintosh 128K with the board back in, connected up to power, and I am going to switch it on. Well, we got the beep, but we had that before. Ta-da! I can see there's a, a few geometry issues we need to sort out here. It's the screen's a little bit over that way, but no more sad error, sad Mac error, and we've got a flashing question mark all ready for a floppy disk to go in. Hooray! Okay, so the 128K is alive. Um, in the meantime, I've done a few little housekeeping tasks. Uh, specifically, I made a slight adjustment to the voltage, it's a little on the low side. I have adjusted the screen geometry so that it fills the screen now. Uh, there were a series of um, cracked solder joints on the analog board, which I've fixed up. And I have replaced the uh, little class Y safety capacitors with uh, new replacements because uh, these do have a tendency to fail. So that was just a bit of a bit of preemptive work there uh, to prevent uh, that from happening in the future. Um, but apart from that, uh, it's all working beautifully. So thanks for watching.